everyone. Thanks for joining us today for our first LinkedIn Live event ever. My name is Kayla Hillier, and I'm thrilled to be your host today. I'm the marketing project manager at ADECO, where I've had the privilege of working at the intersection of talent acquisition and strategic marketing. I'm stoked because today we're diving into a topic that's on the minds of many professionals in the workforce peak hiring and the latest trends shaping our industry. As we all know, the labor market is constantly evolving, influenced by economic shifts, technological advancements, and changing candidate expectations. Understanding these trends is crucial for making informed hiring decisions that can drive organizational success. Lucky for us, we've got an awesome panel of experts who are ready to share their insights and wisdom about what's going on out there. I'd like to briefly introduce Stephanie Davenport, our head of delivery, Dan Spallone, our head of field sales, and Lisette Reyes, our head of marketing and inside sales. And here's the best part. We want to hear from you. At the end of the discussion, we'll be doing a Q&A. So if you've got burning questions, please drop them in the chat and we'll get to them at the end. Thank you so much for being here and let's get started. All right, Steph, peak season is among us. What are some trends and insights you're noticing for this season? And what are some strategies and tips people should be considering when facing peak? Thanks, Kayla. I appreciate it. And it's such a privilege to join everyone today in support of the pivotal role that we all play in shaping the success of our organizations during peak season. So the talent landscape has truly never been as challenging and complex as it is today. And I'm here to share some trends and insights that can help us navigate through this ever evolving terrain. So four key challenges that we're continuing to see and uh, that are continuing to evolve are first, the demand for high volume roles with decreased supply adapting to attract and retain our Gen Z workers, flexibility for both workers and employers, and changes in consumer behavior. So first, like we, we have to start by acknowledging the ongoing demand for high volume roles. Many sectors are continuing to experience a relentless need for this talent, particularly in industries like e-commerce, hospitality, retail. Uh, with competition for this workforce at an all time high, organizations must not only attract the talent, but also prioritize retaining that talent to minimize those costly replacement cycles. So one of the other major trends we're seeing is also the adaptation adaptation to the needs of Gen Z. This generation is seeking more than just a paycheck. They're looking for purpose, for growth opportunities, flexibility on how and where and when they work. And companies that can resonate with these values will have a distinct advantage in attracting and retaining this particular talent pool. So let's stay on that trend of flexibility for just a second. Both employers and workers continue to seek adaptable solutions. Candidates today are prioritizing that work-life balance and flexibility in their schedules. Employers must respond by offering innovative work solutions that meet these expectations, whether that's remote options or even flexible hours. Balance with that, simultaneously, we continue to see that work volumes are fluctuating, which causes employers that need for flexibility and the need to adjust and adapt their workforce as demand changes. So we cannot ignore these shifts in demand that are impacting our traditional peak seasons. The market is seeing an accelerated change in consumer behavior, leading to spikes outside of what we would traditionally call our usual holiday rush and a downturn in traditional forecasting behaviors. This it, unpredictability requires a nimble approach to hiring and ensures that we can ramp or scale back quickly as that demand is fluctuating. So let's go ahead and delve into some insights that we've gathered that can help guide our strategies to address these challenges during peak season. So first, I think we all are uh, expecting and understand the need and the topic to embrace AI and technology automation. Leveraging AI and recruitment can streamline our processes, enhance candidate screening, and improve our overall efficiency. Technology can help us analyze the trends and identify the skills we need before they become critical shortages. However, as this continues to evolve, we have to remember to balance the advantages of AI with the fundamental privacy rights of our candidates. 
Second is a focus on candidate experience. In this competitive market, creating a seamless and positive candidate experience is essential. From application to onboarding, every interaction shapes the candidate's perception of your organization. So we really want to focus on making it easy, engaging, and informative. Next is understanding the local job market dynamics and keeping that pulse on the local job market is absolutely vital. Understanding the ebb and flow of the talent availability will help you make informed decisions on when and how and where to ramp up your hiring efforts. Next, with that focus on retention, is creating a welcoming environment. Employer retention starts with the culture. Fostering an inclusive and welcoming workplace where employees feel valued and connected will not only enhance that retention, but also boost overall morale and our productivity that we're all looking for. Next is utilizing flexible workforce solutions, whether it's through gig workers, temp staffing, project-based teams, flexible workforce solutions can help us adapt quickly to changing demands. This agility will be crucial in meeting the needs of your business without overextending the resources that we have on hand. So navigating these challenges of seek peas and seek peas in, oh my goodness, uh, requires us to be proactive, adaptive, and responsive. By embracing these trends and insights, we can not only meet our immediate need and hiring needs, but also build a resilient workforce for the future. So let's all work together in creating our strategies that ensure that we are ready for whatever comes next. So Kayla, I'm going to send it back to you. Oh, well, thank you, Steph. And wow, those are some considerable challenges facing the labor market this peak season. I'd like to go ahead and now pass the discussion to Dan to learn more about how we combat those challenges strategically. Dan, the floor is yours. Thank you, Kayla. And, and really great points, Stephanie. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm so excited to be here and listen. I I fully agree. The talent landscape has never been as challenging and complex as it is today. And let's face it, the world of work is quickly evolving and it's mission critical that we embrace the importance of not only attracting, but also retaining the best talent available, especially during peak periods with increased demands. Listen, with a tight labor market, consumer demands increasing and shifts in our clients' delivery strategies, ADECO continues to adapt and innovate, You know, developing new approaches to counteract that complicated economic the complicated economic trends that we all face like we have to be nimble now as you can imagine our clients programs uh, their needs vary widely which is why our solutions range from you know full scale master vendor partnerships to traditional on site models where we manage a large temporary workforce in you know one or multiple locations all the way down to near site and traditional branch delivery models in fact, you know, we implemented the first generation of MVPs more than 30 years ago and have since managed hundreds of such programs. So, you know, when I think about this from small scale seasonal ramps to ramps with programs filling positions for thousands of seasonal workers, we help our clients, both large and small, you know, to find and retain the talent that they need to meet the growing demand of their business. So, you know, our solution models provide our clients with staffing services and program management across all job classifications, but most importantly, at a predictable cost. This is important when you're flying fast. In addition, you know, our clients take advantage of an efficient and fully streamlined requisition process and onboarding process. We create that candidate experience that Stephanie referenced is mission critical. It's, it's absolutely vital. Now through best in class processes and leveraging best practices, we efficiently manage our client's entire contingent staffing program, ensuring you know, not only a high level of client satisfaction, but ensuring peak success. There's a lot riding on this peak season. Now, what we do know from decades of experience, we've been in the space for a long time, um, is that a comprehensive staffing plan is absolutely essential for peak season success. Now, we also know that today's staffing challenges cannot be addressed with AI, data, and trend forecasting alone. Success at peak requires extensive planning and organization. And this is really important. The proper mix of people, process, data, tools, and technology. Our people are a true source of competitive advantage. 
you mix that with process, data, and tech, and that's a Deco's recipe for success. So, you know, when it comes to supporting the ramp needs, a, a critical first step. So let's get into the nitty gritty. A critical first step is creating accurate forecasts and really setting manageable goals that allow the team to meet the staffing needs in a, in a necessary time frame, right? To get from forecast to fulfillment, it's then critical to have a well-defined and proven process to recruit for high volume orders and workforce ramp ups. Now, furthermore, when, when we're dealing with large volume needs, it's important that the focus is not solely on the final number requested, but instead on the daily and weekly goals, again, milestones that we can achieve. Now, as our delivery teams build their funnels, they continually see, have to assess the performance of each step to swiftly identify any potential gaps so that you know, we can pivot, adjustments can be made to ensure 100% fulfillment. To meet ramp recruiting goals, recruiters require specialized training in candidate funnel management to drive those required results. And at ADECO, our recruiting teams are trained and equipped to actually excel here, which is vital. Now, with the 2024 ramp season upon us, like let's let's think about this. There's there's a few questions that are really, really important to answer. Number one, do you have a robust recruiting plan in place? Okay, this is we're going to dive into that. Number two, have you refined your onboarding process for today's highly competitive job market, especially during peak? You heard Stephanie speak to the, the critical nature of this. And then last but not certainly not least, you know, do you have an effective retention and engagement strategy? I'm going to repeat that one. Do you have an effective retention engagement strategy? I'm going to camp on this here in a minute because it's absolutely vital. So let's address question number one really quick. So, you know, a proven recruitment strategy will help you find the talent that your business needs to stay productive and profitable, but also while saving you time and money. So at ADECO, we combine the latest tools with our decades of experience and, and build and deliver customized solutions with, you know, cutting edge recruitment strategies. Again, the proper mix of people, process, data, tools, and technology. I'm going to keep saying that. It's so important. So, you know, when you work with a DECO, um, your strategy would include things like dedicated curation teams, right? Executing a multi-channel sourcing plan to engage quality candidates, leveraging digital platforms and AI powered tools, nonstop candidate sourcing and engagement. This is critical when we're moving fast. Effective use of digital recruitment tools to enhance the hiring process. So, the recruiters can deliver talent quickly and reliable, reliably. It's, it's, it's all about efficiency. Let's not forget about grassroots and social media. We have to be engaged in the communities and leveraging that as well. With that said, we, we would leverage our mobile recruiting units, our job mobiles. This is a fleet of vans designed to meet the candidates where they are and expand our reach. We literally take our branch to the talent, and this is vital. There's other components like, you know, significant investment in marketing and advertising, you know, workforce management, automated scheduling uh, with auto uh, match functionality, mobile onboarding um, and market insights. We have to understand where we're at in the market, supply and demand analysis, salary skills trends to help navigate this landscape because it's again, it's, it's the most complex landscape we've ever competed in. And last but not least, I want to talk about a candidate and associate app, right? This is really a one-stop shop for candidates to search and, and apply for jobs and, and manage their career with a DECO. The strategic use of automation and face-to-face -face interaction to continually stay in contact with our candidate pools, this drives engagement. Again, the mix of people and technology, right? So let's shift to question number two. It is equally as, as vital to have an effective hiring and onboarding process that provides a great experience, reduces time to start, and meets the dynamics of the local recruiting landscape when it comes to screening requirements and other factors. ADECO's processes are designed to scale to the client's specific need to ensure that this does not become a major bottleneck in a fast-paced process. Last but certainly not least, and I told you I would camp here, let's camp on the topic of retention for a minute. This was question number three. At ADECO, we focus significantly here as we know that a strong retention and engagement plan is really one of the most significant components of a robust recruiting plan. Let's think about this. 
those who focus here and crack the code will win in this war for talent because they'll be fighting in it less, right? Each associate is a rare gem. We have to capture them and we have to keep them. As we all navigate the talent shortages, um, and let, let's face it, providing qualified associates in this landscape, it can be a challenge, no doubt. The key to retention is the ability to offer associates consecutive assignments with training to improve their skills and attractive wages. Right, We maintain a successful retention program designed to bolster strong working relationships with our associates, show our appreciation for their performance and contributions, and demonstrate the importance of our organization and reinforce the benefits of working for a DECO. You'll hear from Lizette next on how these programs play out positively for our clients. Now, we show our associates that we recognize their value to our organization and aim to improve their work experience through our satisfaction surveys, right? Feedback is critical. It's a gift. Um, we always rely on our managers at, at the on-site locations, boots on the ground, who work closely with our associates and clients to help build job satisfaction. We want to be the employer of choice for our associates and manage their careers by offering competitive wages, assignments with increasing responsibility, and the opportunity to learn new skills. Upskilling and reskilling is, uh, it's a buzzword today, right? And it's, it's absolutely vital to our strategies moving forward. Now we've utilized successful retention programs among our client base designed to bolster those strong relationships with our associates. These strategies include, you know, birthday recognitions, holiday luncheons, associate of the month, assignment completion and attendance bonuses, internal ADECO Bucks programs, associate roundtables. Again, feedback is a gift. We need to hear from those associates to understand what's happening. Cross-training and career pathing is something we work on very closely too to help them you know, navigate a career within the organization that they're uh, working for. And then upskilling and reskilling programs as well. So I would like to close by saying this, all right? At ADECO, the term peak season, it gets us excited. It, you know, it's one of our specialties. We're experts in this space with decades of experience. If you do not have clear answers to the questions I referred to earlier, do not wait another minute. Engage with us today. Now, listen, I can talk all day long about the value we bring to our clients when we unlock the full power of our value stream. But now I'd like to turn it back over to Kayla to introduce our next speaker, who will actually provide case studies and perspective into what our clients have to say. Kayla, back to you. Dan, these are fantastic strategies. I always love hearing your passion for our clients and our associate recruitment and retention strategies. Thank you for sharing some new ways of aligning our tools and processes with client needs and challenges. This is the perfect opportunity, as you said, to now transition to Lisette and hear about a specific case where we were able to transform our client's recruitment strategy during their peak season. So Lisette, take it away. Thank you, Kayla. I am so excited to share some incredible insights into one of our longstanding partnerships, which really showcases how ADECO adapts and innovates to meet client needs, especially during high demand seasons. Our client, which is a leading international fashion giant, has been partnering with ADECO every year to fill the additional light industrial and call center roles needed for the holiday season. But after some challenges with a third party tech platform last year, we dedicated the months leading up to the 2023 peak season to really rethinking our approach, particularly when it comes to boosting our show rates and improving our retention. And guys, the results were absolutely phenomenal. We filled 1,374 peak roles with a 115, a whopping 115% fill rate. And one of our four first priorities in, in, in our approach was really improving that communication with our associates. We kick things off with more of a thorough, realistic expectations, starting from the very first interview and then continuing throughout their assignments. Our team really made sure that associates were well informed by regularly checking in with them. And it really wasn't just about that onboarding and then moving on. It really was about that ongoing engagement that, that really set us apart and made the difference. 
And speaking of engagement, we tapped into our internal ADECO engagement tool to survey associates regularly, giving us real-time data on performance and job satisfaction. And this allowed us to track trends by location and by shift level, which meant that we could address concerns before they became real issues. And through these efforts alone, we saw some impressive outcomes. We saw four weeks of onboarding, 92% average daily attendance, and 3% increase in productivity over prior year. And above engagement, we continually, continuously remind workers about the unique perks of our Clients Peak program, which is or includes a 32-hour work we guarantee, attendance bonuses, and access to discount shopping sale. And while all these perks were similar to last year, again, the renewed focus of that engagement really made the difference. In fact, by the end of it, our client was left wondering what kind of magical pixie dust we used in 2023. This, again, is a great example of how we at ADECO continuously evolve to meet the needs of both our clients and associates. It truly is a win-win approach that fuels success on both sides. So now with that said, I'll turn it back over to Kayla, who's been gathering some of your questions. Kayla, take it away. Well, thank you, Lisette. Those were fantastic results. And it sounds like Dan was right. Candidate engagement is one of the big keys to our success. I know personally, it always helps me to understand the specific instances of how these strategies were implemented at client sites and what those results actually were. So Lisette's right, we've been gathering questions throughout the call via chat, and please continue to submit your questions here. But I'd like to take some time to answer a couple that have already come through. So give me a second and, all right, I've got one. Here we go. Given the unpredictability in consumer behavior and peak seasons, how can companies better forecast and prepare staffing needs in a way that mitigates both under and over staffing? Any, any takers? I'll take that one. Um, it is a, it's a really great question. I'm glad somebody put that out there. So it, forecasting is really a bit of a mix of both art and science, um, especially with these times being so unpredictable and consumer behaviors being so unpredictable. So tool tools that we've kind of talked a little a bit about today uh, that we all have to help are both using data and using people. So data, really looking at your historical trends, uh, whether that's sales data, consumer traffic patterns, seasonal trends uh, that help us identify the changes and peaks really over the last three years. So there's multiple advanced analytical tools that are now available using AI machine learning that can help us predict that deviation of change that we're starting to see in our staffing needs. So the one thing I would say is uh, just remember to input any of your running averages for 2024 into the, your modeling to make sure you're continuing to track what's changed this year versus the years previous. So uh, using these tools, it can really help predict those staffing needs more accurately uh, with multiple variables. Uh, variables. But the one thing I would also say with that is uh, to also take a look at people and use the people that we have available to us. So that can be engaging employees in forecasting efforts. So their insights uh, can also help identify peak times and trends that may not be apparent in the data alone. So additionally, uh, another thing that we've seen is cross-training staff in multiple roles that will allow you to be more flexible in your staffing. So that allows teams to adjust very, very quickly as demands change without the need for additional hires and waiting for, for training timeframes. So lastly, um, with underneath people, I would uh, encourage you to engage with customers as well throughout the season through various feedback mechanisms to gauge their preferences and potential demands and shifts. So, uh, Kayla, I, I hope that helps. Um, happy to answer further into that question, uh, but it, it's something we're going to have to continue to monitor very, very closely. So the best solution is, is really try to be as accurate as we can using that balance of people and data and just be prepared uh, for immediate shifts because the immediate shifts will come. Sounds good. I mean, very thorough. If, if you guys do have additional questions about this specifically, I mean, drop them in the chat. We're happy to answer. them. All right, let me find another. Okay. 
What role does technology play in helping organizations stay nimble in responding to fluctuating consumer demand? Anyone? I'll take this one, Kayla. <laughs> okay. Listen, um, and I see, great question, Bob. Um, listen, I, I mentioned earlier, technology is absolutely mission critical. You know, however, remember, it's technology partnered with the proper mix of people, process, data, and tools. You know, we have to stay nimble and technology is what helps us to do this, right? There's no way we can respond effectively to fluctuating demand without the proper mix of techs, uh, tech. Excuse me. It's absolutely necessary to stay efficient and move swiftly. So, Bob, the short answer is technology is absolutely mission critical, but it has to be thoughtfully planned out and sprinkled in at the appropriate phases of the end-to-end -end process. That sounds perfect to me. It sounds like a almost a piggyback off Stephanie as well. The combination of people and technology are always key here. All right. I think I've got another one. Can your staffing solutions be customized based on our specific peak season needs? So, for example, if it's part time versus full time, different shifts, you guys get the picture. Anyone want to take it? I can answer, Kayla. Ah, perfect. I thought you'd like this one. Absolutely. <laughs> um, our staffing solutions are fully customizable to fit your specific peak needs. So whether it's part time or full time, different shifts, specialized roles, um, we're going to tailor our approach to ensure that you have the right talent when you need it and where you need it. Thought you'd say something like that, but yeah, absolutely. It, that's our bread and butter is customization. Thank you, Lisette. Okay, I have another. What would you say for companies who are already in the middle of their busy season, which I think we know a lot of people that might be there? Do you do they have time to change strategy or are they better off just kind of waiting to plan for next year? I'll take this one, Kayla. So listen, the good news is it's never too late to adjust your peak strategy. Yeah, as a matter of fact, some of the best laid peak plans require a pivot in strategy especially especially when competing in a challenging recruiting landscape like the one that we face today. So as long as you have a partner, and a DECO can be that partner, uh, with a scalable solution, you can adjust quickly on the fly. So no, you do not have to wait until next year to, uh, but you do need to connect with us or a partner as soon as you can. And together we'll get your strategy on track to ensure peak season success. We got you. Fantastic answer. Couldn't said it better myself. <laughs> okay, looking at time, it looks like we have time for one more question. So, all right, who exactly, see, following up on your question, your comment, Dan, who exactly should they talk to about peak season strategies? I'll take it. Um, if you have any additional questions outside of the ones we're answering, um, live or you want to talk a little bit more about peak season strategies please feel free to reach out to any one of us via linkedin email and mail sorry or you can visit our website where you can chat with a human yes a human via our conversational bot we will make sure to drop that link in this chat thank you thank you Lisa. and just because i'm in marketing and i know that website it's adeco.com so if you're looking for us it's adecco.com all right, had to do my marketing plug. <laughs> well, we are at time. It's been an absolute pleasure to hang with y'all and moderate such a fantastic conversation. I honestly hope you found these insights to be beneficial and as valuable as I did. It's clear that understanding the trends in the peak hiring season is going to be essential to navigate today's market. I really appreciate everyone's participation and the engagement in the chat. And I thank you again to our panelists for their knowledge and their insights that they've shared with us. If you do have any lingering thoughts or questions, feel free, like Lisette said, to reach out to us on LinkedIn. We would love to hear from you. And besides that, I want to thank you all again for joining us. And I wish you all a truly awesome day. See you guys.